Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Rosie, and thank you so much for taking a moment out of your busy day to spend a few moments with me. So first up, you'll see here that I've created an Easter mini album. Really, it's for my daughter so that she can document all of the Easter fun that was had. There is a link down below if you want to see a tutorial on how I made that album. And my grandson really is not a candy eater, so it's really hard to fill his basket with candy. So I found a little, um, a little Easter bunny there at the dollar store, picked up a couple of other little Easter items from the dollar store, tried to minimize the amount of candy that I included. His favorite snack is Doritos, so I did a nice big bag of that. And then here you'll see that I've made this um, popsicle candy holder. Now I am trying to show you with one hand, so it is a little awkward. I do have a link down below on how I made this. So if you check in the video description down below, you'll see that there's a link for a tutorial on how I created this. As you can see, I added some Pez. And I made this large rosette and included it just as just to kind of pretty it up a little bit um, using some Easter paper. I also used some metal dies to cut out different shapes. Um, you can see that I added foam dots to each of the layers to give it dimension. So I'll just pop that in there. Another thing that my grandson loves to do is he loves to paint. So I've added a pack of canvas and then I made this sweet little candy holder, which again, I've done a tutorial on. So I will go ahead and I'll add that link down below for you if you want to watch that tutorial but isn't that just the sweetest little thing and just added a little tag kind of like an Easter basket within an Easter basket included these cute little um, eggs and added some Skittles jelly beans inside so I included two of those and then the next thing that I'm included, including is this candy, Easter candy cart. And again, I have a tutorial and I'll list that down below in case you want to check out how I made this. It is in two parts. So the, two, the bottom part holds lollipops. Isn't it just adorable though? So here you can see I take the top off, take out some of the shredding to reveal. I think I put like four or five different lollipops in there. They're all the sour kind that he likes. What I did afterwards was I just placed each of those items in a clear bag and then I used a KS Crafts metal die to die cut out the bag topper. I love using KS Crafts metal dies because they always come out so clean and crisp. I've never had an issue with it and they have the most amazing designs. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed taking a peek into what I was placing into my grandson's Easter basket. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button because it really does help my channel out. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. It means the world to me. All right, guys, until the next time, stay safe, be kind, and keep it creative.